Okay, so a little quick tip here that people may or may not be aware of. Um, Reference Waveform Library, absolutely brilliant tool. However, sometimes you don't always want to load in the entire file. You might just want to load in just a small, like one of the channels. So how can we do that? Right, I've got my capture. I have a relative compression waveform. I'm thinking, is that good? Looks okay, but let's compare it with a waveform from the library. So, open up the waveform library. Obviously, make sure you log in with your username and password. I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to look for relative compression relative compression current, because that's what we have captured. We're going to click search, and we're just going to scroll down, find one that looks the same. Now, obviously, we'll be looking for one with the same vehicle profile, of course. Obviously, I haven't got that luxury today. But all I want to do is over here is where we'd normally load the entire file. However, if we look down here, it says channel labels, and there's a button called load. If I hit that, it's going to just load a reference waveform of this capture. So there we go, there's our reference waveform in the background. I've not had to change any of my settings, I've not lost any of the data, it's just there, ready to go to compare. So, one of the small downsides or the caveats we just need to be aware of is that depending on the time base that that recording was made, we may have more or less of that reference waveform on the screen. But other than that, a real quick and easy tip, hit the load button, it will load a reference waveform into your, into your waveform. Perfect.